Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to talk about Sun and Moon Show character designs. Some of the designs are really hard to grasp and since I like designing characters, I'm going to give it a try for myself. I just want to clarify something in this video. I am not by any means saying that my designs are better than the actual show's designs. I just thought it would be fun to design them in my style since I'm an artist. Okay, Lutner we know has had the most designs out of all of the characters. He has gone from having yellow eyes to white eyes to blue eyes to even a stolen design in the beginning. This character has gone through a lot of changes. However, I am uncertain whether they've designed Luna's character a lot of times for copyright issues or whether Luna has changed in the show. Like, as he said, it was a mental thing. We're still unclear of what that is all about. But for my design, I wanted to give Luna a cutesy aspect. Since we know that Luna had like a poncho, I added that since I saw that was really common among the community when people were giving him ponchos. For coloring, I wanted to keep the yellow eyes since I felt like it gave a good color contrast with all the blue. As you'll see here, I did color the uh, arm warmers blue, but I do end up changing them to yellow. So the reason I made part of Lunar's clothing yellow is the color contrast with blue, like I said earlier. And I felt like the little star tail was really cute on Lunar's like chibi model so i kept that as well the gray also helps contrast with the blue and the yellow so we can have more of a neutral minimalist color mixed in with the bright poppy kind of colors i was originally going to do half of lunar's pants striped and half of them starred however i felt like that was really detailed since lunar's design i've done is already really detailed with uh colors and like parts i wanted to add into clothing so i just stuck with complete stars Alrighty then, here's my lunar design, hope you guys like it. Next character I wanted to try to redesign was Kill Code. I felt like Kill Code looked a lot like Moon, just very terrifying, which that makes sense in the series because that is kind of what Kill Code is in intended to be, but I wanted to add a little more cutesy effect with my design and color palette. I kept the ripped pants because I felt like it looked good and did describe a little bit of kill code, so I did end up adding those. I was gonna originally try doing like the paw type feet, but I didn't like the way they looked, so I just turned it into like the little shoes. For coloring, I added a little bit of red in there to represent Blood Moon, rest in peace, but that's why there's red also to help with differentiation between the blue and the white since i figured if there was too much blue and white it would look a little bit too much like moon the reason i added a broken demon tail and demon horns is to help like symbolize the nice kill code redemption arc and i like the fully red eyes that i've seen but i just added a simple little white pupils in there so we can see where kill code is looking if i do end up drawing him like this on Kill Code Shoes is another reference to Blood Moon. It's a red moon, so I felt like we could incorporate that in there. The shoes are white along with the Victorian style shirt that I decided to do. I don't exactly know why I decided to do the Victorian style shirt. I just felt like it would look different from my other character's designs. So I gave him a Victorian shirt, and in my opinion, I think it looks very snazzy and very nice. Even though I know Kill Code is supposed to look like an evil version of Moon, I still wanted to keep the menacing, sharp smile because I felt like it did, like, it just added on to Kill Code's overall look. It looked really nice as, like, a nice touch, too. Even though he's nice, it's like a sheep in wolf's clothing, basically. He looks very evil, but is very nice. For the pants, I did just simple stars, like on Kill Code's actual model, and that we have Kill Code done. Okay, for this character, I know it's not a Sun and Moon show specific character, it's Monty, but I felt like the Monty design didn't really match up with Monty's personality and character traits, so I wanted to give Monty a snazzy, punk rock type style clothing. I think this is going to look really well, so that's why I tried it out. Monty's design is purple, yellow, and green with the red accents for eyes and hair, which I do, I do keep Monty's original color palette, but I do end up changing his pants color because, well, I felt like that was a little too much green, so I added purple back in with Monty's pants color, even though I know that's the color of his claws, I felt like purple would be good. 
Also, I was originally going to do Monty's actual feet instead of boots, but I feel like the boots added more characterization to Monty's look, so I gave Monty boots instead. One thing I've noticed in the past when I made some Sun and Moon show Monty fan art was I always did their tail wrong. I never did the green, yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow, back and white kind of a thing that Monty actually has in the game. I would do it like a legit gator tail, and I always wondered why Monty looked so goofy, and that was why, is because I didn't ever draw Monty correctly. So with this, I did draw them correctly, and I did give them more stylized appeal to what my taste is in punk rock, like, styled clothing. For the hair, when I did originally try drawing Monty for the very, very first time, I did draw Monty with the actual mohawk. I felt like it looked too stiff, so instead of a mohawk, I made a mullet so that I could add actual hair texture. For the pants, I did make them purple because of the like green. I felt like it would look a little bit too much like skin, so I just turned their pants purple. Instead of Monty's glasses covering their eyes, I decided to have them hang above, like how people would wear their glasses in the real world. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed and were willing to stick around till the very end. I'm going to be making a part two of this, that's why it says part one in the title, because I am going to do every single character, including the computers and other side characters like the creator. I just felt like that'd be a fun little exercise and little prompt to try out. Bye, see you guys next video. If you want more content like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Bye!